when I moved into my place lah, at the area, I was about 25 or 26. Things started like um, disappearing lah. Like sometimes my glasses end up at the kitchen. And uh, I'm not sure you recall many years back they had this uh, the tikam toy, right? Mm. But then it was this uh, sticky dessert you yeah. throw, you know, right? Mm. So uh, I just got, I, I played a few of those, then they went missing. I found one on the ceiling. I found one in the freezer. So I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah. Nobody believed I'm a kid. And this was in your Bishan house? Mm. Is the block still standing? Yes. I really don't feel good. Like this, this place. Is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. After the incident, when I was at one, that's where the first case I told you about. My friend and I, we are usually the first ones in school. When I reach the school, when I reach the class, my class is all the way at the back. So I was heading towards class, my friend running back, running over. He Whole face white. He grabbing my arm. Then he, he calmed down a bit. He saw what looks like a white lady. He thinks uh, holding what looks like my body. Creeped out. Uh. But that class always very that class always very gloomy. Uh. So no matter what time of the day, it feels like it feels like there's an overcast. Uh. One fine day I explore one text. Suddenly very rowdy. Something going on. Go outside and see the class at the back, our old class where we were. That gloomy one. A lot of people there already. And like people running out la, screaming, yelling la. So we learn I learned about a couple hours later, probably recess time I learned. A bunch of kids. They playing uh Pan Pisian. So you know Pisian, right? Spirit of Japan. It's like we are, except you just take a full scale paper, you do the one one uh, one zero one to zero A B C uh, then yes no then home. And with a pencil, I call it ghetto uja la. <laughs> ghetto uja. Because you really just make your own one, right? Yeah. So what happens is that uh, well, a few of them play. One girl got scared. She pulled her finger away. Pencil snap. The pencil snapped. Pencil snap. Two guys ran out. Say got someone punching their stomach. They puked. The whole class saw a white lady. Long black hair. Uh, some of the girls, especially one of them, was stuck in the counseling session there, counseling room whole day, because yeah. she saw a white lady coming at her. Every time she closed her eyes, she saw that. After the incident, the next day, right, principal had to address our class, or uh, the whole school, say it's mass hysteria. What they do is uh, they got the pastors come and pray la, and all that. I personally cannot remember if it's before. I think it's before or after that, but there was an incident that during the school holiday. Someone came to vandalize our school foyer. Pentagram draw on the floor, la, very big one. Then on the wall got a, a reverse cross. Then I, I remember clearly there was a Brothers of the South, the word written there. So all these things kind of make, make the school already very eerie early, you know what I mean? Things at home start to get a bit more la, active. Doors closed by themselves, slammed by themselves, that kind of stuff. Remember there was one time, uh, I was in at home. Uh. My friend came by at night. So my study room got the old PlayStation. Uh. I was playing here, my friend came. I came out, opened the door, living room door. I straight away chong into my start my, my, my study room continued playing. I then he made his way in. Uh. Yeah. He closed the door, he came in. The moment he walked past my bedroom, the old windows music. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. I was like, hey brother, why you turn why you turn on my PC? He stopped. He literally froze there. His whole face white. He's like Brother, cannot be a touch of PC. You literally saw me walk by. And I look at him. <laughs> my friend hold it in my, in my room. We playing game, la, but you can see uh, he's quite freaked out. La. This one time I was playing also. I was playing my computer through this room. My, my, my peripheral is a door already. La. Instead of seeing a door, la, all black. Upon that happening, I remember I was telling a Canadian friend of mine i am still got chat room and online games and all that. So, you know, yeah, I, I think something is following me. Eh. Then she knows a bit of this kind of thing, one, eh, occult stuff. She immediately tell me a white lady and a very big dark man. I only tell her something is following me. I never tell her anything else. Eh. She told me that. Then the scariest one for me was, there was this one case where I was sleeping, 
I don't know what time I woke up. I woke up to below ah, uh, under my pillow ah. Uh. Specifically, so you can it feels like your finger. You can feel the vibration. Okay. It was. And once again, I am angry because I'm woken up from my sleep. In Chinese lah. Uh. You dare to play again? You really bloody there. I was like, I'm going to bloody get up now. The moment I say that, uh, I feel a hand on my cheek. A cold hand. And it is specifically a hand, the full hand uh, can fit my cheek. They feel like fingers and all. You can feel the whole five fingers, the palm. But the whole hand can fit my cheek, so it's a very small hand. It's a child. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, uh, but that's what I felt. I don't know if you recall this club Momo or not. Then I'll take to Velvet Dragon. Uh. I went there on my friend's mother's birthday. We had two VIP seats. My friends and I and my current wife, not my girlfriend. Uh. We all one area. My friend's mother's side one, uh, is other side. Uh. Then between our chairs, uh, is, they have this, uh, you know, like they hold the chair together, kind of board, uh, black color one. And so I think maybe, maybe plywood. Uh. That one is that one's relevant. So I was sitting on uh, this side, which is facing the other side, the other group one. Uh. Then for some reason, I don't know why I felt like I just turned around because you know, drinking, talking, I turned around. Then one time I turned around, uh, a face, uh, was like right here, a female face. I remember clearly the face was white, the skin was like cracked, long black hair. Eyes were staring right at me. I stunned. People keep asking, uh, what will you do when you see a ghost? Uh? I tell them you, you won't know how you react uh, because my personal experience, I see face to face right in front of me. Mm. The first thing on my mind is, is this real or not? Mm. Club light flashing, I see the reflection, the light. So every time the light flashes right, mm. it becomes clearer, you know what I mean? Mm. Then dark again. Mm. Next thing on my mind, am I drunk? The two very logical things. After staring for a bit, confirm uh, and it cannot be anybody because there is quite a distance. And plywood. Anything move up, you can go ahead. Do you try to touch it? No. I, my first, once, I, once, I, once I confirm that it's physically there, my first concern is my friends. So I turn around and ask my wife, hey, what time? So you turn around while the, face, the head is still facing you? I don't know. I, I last I remember it's still facing me. Yeah. So I straight away turn around. I was like, oh my god, putting your back to that thing. <laughs> yeah, but I straight turn around. But when I, I don't know whether it's alcohol coverage or whatever, I don't know. Ask my wife what time. 3 a.m. The moment she said that, my goosebumps come. It's like, okay, uh, could be tired already. Lah. I was like, let's go. Lah. When? So we left. Lah. Did you turn back? No. Then there was one time where I remember in bed, I was like, you want to kill me, you come. You come, I dare you. Tonight you try. Wow, that night, I think I got two, three, three, four times. Sleep paralysis. Yeah. Wake up, cannot you know, sleep again. After okay already, go back to sleep again, wake up again. And then I remember a lot of weird dreams. I cannot give you the details, but I remember the dreams were very weird. Okay. A lot of flesh. I really feel like I'm going to die already. Yeah. So I was like, God, if my time to go, I go. The moment I say that, air rushed into me. The force of it was enough for me that I'm lying down, right? My whole body sit back up. <gasps> yeah. I know I'm ending a bit anti-climatic, but basically that is until now then not much really. Now, after you got married, the thing all stopped, right? Is it? Yeah. After I got married, the things all stopped. But personally for me, my cases, at least to me, yeah. were not scary in the sense that uh, it will like, you will run that kind of thing. You know? But uh, these kind of things did help me with uh, becoming more logical with things. You want, to, you want to see both sides. Whether it's possible, like on your Friday shows, right? You will talk about whether it's possible that it's a something actually yeah. happening or something is natural. It's a natural yeah. matter. Uh. So you always try to look both sides, lah. Things you tell me if I will run one, uh. My friends uh, got ex girlfriend, can see one. She was eating at the computer. Yeah. Saw a lady on the street staring at her. So she stared back. Okay. She stared back. You finish go go toilet. The moment she closed the toilet door. Bum, 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 bum. Why are you staring at me? Bum, 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 bum. In Chinese, uh. Uh. you tell me if I can't, I also will run. But then you start the gimmick and shit, the things outside. Yeah, exactly. So basically, she just slammed the door open, run out, cry. The alien, this alien put here. Oh. Just with you. Just with you. Yeah, but the thing is that, you see, uh, like, you, you ask me this kind of incidents where uh, 
it's physically happening. Yeah. You cannot run from it, one, you know. Uh, that one, I will, I will be like, what the? F- I'll be scared, uh. <laughs> Sorry, uh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, me, if I know that I offended them, yeah. Sorry, but if happening in my house, uh, that's different, different story. Uh, touching my things, cause my logic is that, if you want to come to my place, uh, you don't disturb me. Don't you shout? I'm okay. The time before we moved here, lah, we still in the place, uh. There were still cases like me and my wife were doing we cause uh, both our computers next to each other. Uh. The door bam. My, my wife and I look at the door, look at each other, continue. <laughs> then after it was after that moment, it was like a few seconds after I was like, hey, whoever this whoever hunting us made them sad. Eh. Totally both. But I think is that at the same time in our minds like, oh maybe the win. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah. You will logically try to go for a logical route first. If yeah. that one can appease you, uh, might as well just pretend that it is that. Whether it's uh, just pretend it is that and move on. What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions.